The Bills are still kings. Also, you guys dig the new background? We got a retro station with a PS1, a PS2 on the side. A bunch of nerdy stuff because I'm obsessed with horror movies and apparently Star Wars now. Yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Mike Zimmer and Matt Nagy just got the axe this morning. Actually, the Vikings did a little bit more than Zimmer. They fired the entire front office, I'm pretty sure. Spielman got it, too. Also, I know people are going to be in the comments wondering, like, hey, man, what do you think about the Chargers-Raiders game? I'm not going to lie. I fell asleep and woke up, like, six different times during it until the game was finally over. Every time I fell asleep and woke up, I thought it was a different outcome, though. I'm like, oh, the Raiders won. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, the Chargers are going to win it. Oh, it's going to be a tie. And then finally, yeah, I saw Derek Carr celebrating and you know honestly even though I didn't pick him I'm pretty happy anyways what is going on guys and welcome back to Madden Monday sorry if I sound tired I just rolled out of bed everybody probably knows what we're gonna do today we're gonna go play a random team online for Madden we've got so much stuff to talk about that happened yesterday and about the playoffs coming forward we don't really gotta waste any time without further ado head over to gfuel.com use code Wyatt's world save yourself a discount on any gfuel products and let's hop right into Madden Monday Okay, so, you know, it's the last week. Let's just bring back the Wheel of Death. It's not the last week of Madden Monday, but it's just, you know, it's the season, the regular season's done. I kind of feel like I'm in fuck it mode. Like, there's no regular season stress. It's almost kind of nice and relaxing in a way. All right, who are we going to be? All right. So, Patriots lost to the Dolphins. That didn't really end up doing anything for the playoff game. Vikings thankfully beat the Bears for a second time. Didn't just beat them, they kicked their ass. Giants are the worst team ever. Dude, you know, the Giants fans at this point kind of got to be annoyed with me. I keep dumping on your team every single week. But boys, you were running QB sneaks on third and nine yesterday. Like, I don't know what to say about you anymore. Also, Green Bay fans. <laughs> Jordan Love sucks. Every person in Green Bay right now has got to be sweating a little bit. I'm pretty confident Aaron's going to stay, but even for the day he does leave because he ain't going to play there forever, you guys either got to admit you wasted a first round pick or that guy has got to turn into something quick. He had brutal throw after brutal throw after brutal throw yesterday. Now, I'm going to be fair. I didn't turn it on until like the last drive of the game, but still. You don't want to lose to the Lions to end the season. That's not a good... Uh thing to carry into the offseason, you know? Oh, yeah, I should show you guys. Ravens related. I pulled a Patrick Queen autograph card. That's pretty sick. I was really happy about it. Oh, oh Devontae Freeman still got it! Oh, shit, does he? Whoop, 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 whoop. What the fuck are you doing? Anyway, yeah, we got the Patrick Queen auto. The glare is terrible, I know. And then I also forgot about this. I pulled a Kadarius Tony auto. I was super happy about that one. I did those live on Twitch, by the way. So you guys know, I do plan to try and get some new G Fuel to review for you guys, even though I don't drink it as much anymore because I can't. I still like to support it, and I would like to try some of these new products. You better put Trey Lance in, man. But one G Fuel flavor I really want to try that I keep seeing, I thought it was fake. Like, I thought it was a fan concept, but it's real, I guess. It's confetti birthday cake. That would be elite with milk. Are you serious? Okay, so this guy's going to go for it. He's not going to get it, and he's going to quit, and then he's just going to waste this entire video. That's what I thought. You know, speaking of the 49ers, they beat the Rams yesterday. The Cardinals also lost, shockingly, to the Seahawks. Seahawks ended 7-10. and 10. That's not that bad. But the 49ers, man, they're looking like a, a contending team more than most think right now. I'm kind of hopping on the wagon a little bit here. I ain't going to cheer for them over about six of the teams that are in the playoffs, but if they go far, I probably will. Trying my best to not just scramble with Lamar every play. Going on tonight, there's a big game tonight. Oh yeah, the national championship, Georgia and Bama. I'm definitely going to watch that because the Timberwolves played last night, so I don't think they play tonight unless they have a back-to-back. -back. I'm expecting Bama to just, you know, steamroll Georgia. Even though Georgia's a good team, it just seems like Bama's year. I shouldn't say steamroll, but I expect them to win. Devontae Freeman is having the best game of his career since, what, the 2016 season when he was on the fucking Falcons? Also, even though I kind of mentioned it in the intro, super involved in Star Wars lately, and now I'm even watching The Clone Wars on Disney+. Plus. Oh, I have seen episodes 1 through 3 and 1 episode of The Clone Wars, which actually wasn't that bad for a kid's cartoon. The graphics are absolutely horrible for it being a TV show, but I got over it pretty quick because, like, I'm into the story, actually. Star Wars has already broken my barrier twice. Never thought I'd be able to get into it, which I did, and I never thought I'd be able to watch a cartoon TV show, and I did last night. Unbelievable. 
But I do uh, plan to watch episodes four, five, and even possibly six this week. So far, I've got to say, three has been, like, hands down the best movie I watched. Three was amazing. However, you guys want to hear my theory. I was talking to my friend on this one. I know this is kind of nerd time now. We're going to end it real quick, but I agree with my buddy. I hold Mace Windu accountable for Anakin turning bad, man. Mace was just a bitch-ass hater. Should have just let Anakin go with, bro. All right, we're back on to football now. <laughs> um, hopefully get to Jimmy, get to Jimmy, get to Jimmy, get to Jimmy. Oh, my God, pick. Wasn't a pick, but it's a turnover. Is there any other coaches you guys think are going to get the axe? I'm expecting Pete to get it. Vic already got it. So we've gotten Vic, Nagy, and now Zimmer. I definitely will not be shocked. Holy shit, Bosa's going to kill me. I wouldn't be shocked if the Giants go back on their word and fire Joe Judge. I also don't know what's going to happen with Basasia or however the hell you say his name in Vegas. I think he's a good coach. He's not doing a bad job. I just don't think he is going to be, you know, the guy going forward. Looking like Jim Harbaugh is uh, considering coming back to the NFL as well. Vegas, Chicago, I mean, there's a billion places that guy could go and I really don't want him in the NFC North. Unless of course <laughs> he came to the bright side. The purple side. I'd be all for that experiment man. He ain't Urban Meyer. He ain't gonna fuck off. Come on Devante. There we go. Pick me up a block 72 you big beefcake. This might be my first win as the Ravens if I can get the win. Knock on wood. I couldn't get the ball out. Now I know what it's like to get run over by a truck. That was terrible. Alright we'll just take the field goal. Fuck this. Any points is better than no points. Jimmy G gets thrown to the ground again. Oh! Oh! I'm being a bully right now. This guy don't stand a chance. I'm far superior. He's underestimated the power that I have. Throw to Kittle. Come on, you bitch. Boom! Got the cover three I audible too. Even though Kittle's wide open, it's a pick six! Never mind. I got tackled. That's bullshit. Devontae Freeman, not a person in sight. He's got the goddamn ocean. What's up, Ayuk? Get the fuck out of here. Why is Brandon Ayuk out there right now? Hold up. Devontae Freeman has three touchdowns. Elite. Bro, he's just wasting my goddamn time now. I mean, I'm not going to leave because I want the win, so why don't we try to make this interesting? We are only going to run the ball for the rest of the game. I will not throw it one fucking time. Even though there's a guaranteed touchdown right here. Okay, maybe I'll throw, maybe I'll throw it one fucking time. I mean, I had to. Yeah, get, get the fuck out of here. That guy was on a four-game win streak. My ass. He was horrible. I'm glad I humbled you, John. All right, guys, and that is where I'm going to cut it for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my absolute best to post every single day. If you guys are interested in following any of my social medias or subbing to my second YouTube channel, all that info will be in the description of this video as well. Not sure what the schedule is exactly for this week. I know the videos I want to do, just not the order they're going to come out, so stay tuned. Everything being said, guys, I'm going to hop off, get this shit edited so you guys can watch it on time. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your Monday, and as always, I will see you in the next video.